I'm doing the science to measure the impact of salmon farms and wild salmon. Wild salmon are species that are so generous they feed the part of the world that they're in. Wild salmon feed the trees that make the oxygen we breathe. They feed the whales that we share this coast with and future generations are going to need them. Wild salmon keep this ecosystem alive in British Columbia. Every part of this world that still makes clean air, clean water, clean food, we need to fight as hard as possible to keep these alive right now because future generations are depending on us. I'm a scientist, but to me, wild salmon are sacred because of the role they play in keeping this part of the world alive. They're such a successful species that they can feed everyone around them and thrive themselves. Wild salmon are a gift we are not going to be given twice. We need to fight as hard as we can right now to keep it alive. Operation Virus Hunter 3 is the third year in a row that we have done an expedition to assess the health of farm salmon. Everything that's inside the farm, all the waste pours out. And so if the farm salmon are sick, it is a direct threat to the wild salmon and the wild herring. And so we've been going to the farms, we assess their health visually, we look to see whether they're floating on the surface. At times we put divers down or have people go on the farms with underwater cameras and we see the massive amount of wild herring that are in the farms and directly outside the farms being bathed in the pathogens that are coming out of these uh, salmon farms. 2017 I chose to go on uh, farms there with a GoPro camera and show the world what was going on because this just can't continue on anymore because we're running out of salmon, we're running out of oligans, prawns are getting killed off, everything's getting completely wiped out from them farms. The GoPro camera showed their fish completely destroyed, deformed beyond recognition from the viruses. And the GoPro camera actually showed tons of baby wild stock fish and basically every pen out there. As far as I'm concerned, they gotta be gone out of all the waters they're at around the world. It's destroying the waters. On board the Martin Sheen this season, I've been collecting water samples at active salmon farms as well as at control sites throughout the Broughton Archipelago and Discovery Islands regions. The goal of this research is to determine whether salmon and fish in general experience an elevated risk of encountering viruses and bacteria when migrating past salmon farms. One notable virus that we're screening for is piscine real virus. Piscine real virus has been associated with a condition called heart and skeletal muscle inflammation in some species of fish, which for migratory species can be incredibly detrimental given that it's affecting the working muscles of the fish. The scientific knowledge that we now have about the impacts of viruses that are being spread by salmon farms on Chinook salmon. I would say that that is a huge argument in favor of getting rid of fish farms as quickly as possible. They have so much evidence before them at this point that say that fish farms are bad, period, for the environment, for the fish and for the whales. And why they are taking so much time to look at the situation and come to an obvious conclusion I fail to understand. We only work in the territories of indigenous people who are so concerned about the massive change in the abundance of wild salmon and herring in their territories since salmon farms have moved in. And so we're helping them understand what these viruses, the sea lice and bacteria, are actually doing to their fish. They have come in and they've allowed this industry to set up in our waters, in our traditional waters, unceded territories, and uh, just get really giving them a free pass to do whatever they really want. And all we want is to protect our wild salmon and to protect our environment. The economy will survive. The economy is based on what we can get from the environment. And if that is sick, forget it. Everybody loses. We face a lot of resistance, but because we're on this boat and we're able to move up and down the coast, we can continue this work. We have some of the samples back already, and 100% we're infected with Piscine Rio virus. Nobody knew this before, 
And so we're rushing to get this information out into the scientific journals because so many things are underway right now to try to limit the impact of salmon farms. This is not only in the best interest of Indigenous people, this is in the best interest of all British mm. Columbians. So we must, for the sake of uh, reconciliation, for the sake of uh, honouring Indigenous rights and title, to regulate our own fisheries, our own food sources, our own waters, our own lands, we must uh, come together and uh, do the right thing. Make history and get those fish farms out of our territory. The information that we have gathered on this ship for the last three years is providing critical data to the policymakers who will shape the future of this coast. Sea Shepherd and the Martin Sheen will go down and be a part of our history forever. And we'll teach our children about this time we all stood together to save our wild salmon. And it'll be uh, something we'll talk about with pride. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer. Save the salmon, save our planet. Hear you.